Bruce, did you know that I have never been here? Where is here? Atkins Arboretum. I've never been here before, but I'm literally sitting in one of the most beautiful spots I think we've ever covered. Why am I here, you ask? Which you may. I'm here because it's September and Atkins Arboretum is going in full tilt boogie with events for you, the fine people of QAC. So let's go on inside while I can take a tour of a place that I've never been and also let you guys know of some things that you should attend. Okay, so I'm actually inside the Atkins Arboretum and I'm here with Jenna and Jenna is going to give me a tour of the Atkins Arboretum because it's my first time and you've also got a whole bunch of events coming up in September and October because it's the best time of the year to come here, right? Yes, it is. It's brilliant. The colors are brilliant. It's cooled down. And if nature, all the wonders of nature weren't enough for you, we've got some fabulous events coming up. So I'm going to take you from the raised meadow platform in the South Meadow to the pavilion to the wetland overlook and probably in the woodland to see a labyrinth also and maybe the gnome home. I'm already excited. Wow. First stop on my tour is we're at the pavilion. Now this is a gorgeous structure. So what do you guys usually use this pavilion for? Just in, in like everyday use. Right, this pavilion is wonderful for us. We use a, for a lot of our programming. We have our homeschool and preschool that is all gonna be out here this fall. We also are using it for our master naturalist and our docent training, pretty much bringing everything outside um, because it's just a very comfortable, wonderful space to be in. But we've got something really important happening here on September 18th and 19th that we want to get the people here for. So tell me a little bit about that. Sure. We're very excited about having Shore Shakespeare back to perform A Little Touch of Shakespeare. And this is written by Chris Rogers, who is a co-founder of Shore Shakespeare. And this is in his honor and his memory and to celebrate his passion for Shakespeare and for the theater. So we hope you all come out and uh, enjoy the show, bring a chair, a blanket, a picnic, and just celebrate Chris's life with us. So you're telling me it's just a little bit of like Shakespeare in the park, right? But in a even more beautiful park. Yes, Shakespeare in a pavilion at Atkins Arboretum. So I walked in on this, which is the entry bridge. It was a beautiful way to start to get to the main building. And over my shoulder over here, we've got the wetland boardwalk. And that looks cool, but it's gonna look even better and sound even better right. coming to the end of this month, right? Cause you got something happening then. We sure do. We have forest music mm -hmm. returning, a local version of forest music, once again, in partnership with the Chestertown National Music Festival. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have four musicians um, come and play, potentially on the wetland boardwalk and in a couple of the places that we saw today. Um, to celebrate our members that have supported us over all these years and especially these last two. Um, so it is a member appreciation event, but everyone is welcome and everyone will want to come. We'll have refreshments and of course, um, just amazing musicians playing throughout the property. All right, so that sounds great. When's the date of that? That is Saturday, September 25th from 2 to 4 p.m. All right, Jenna, I'm sitting on a toadstool. <laughs> Um, gnome sweet home right here behind me. We have a little gnome house. Um, so why am I sitting here? <laughs> because I want to tell you about fairy month. <gasps> yeah. The okay. whole month of October, we are going to be celebrating, uh, fairies and all the magical things about, uh, the Arboretum and in fairy month. So you can roam the property looking for the roaming gnome. And you can bring, you can purchase a little uh, fairy bag at the visitor center that has all kinds of magical maps and jingle bells and assortment of activities for you to do as you're visiting. All self-guided, uh, and all you really need is um, adult supervision and <laughs> and your imagination. Um, bring a picnic and enjoy it as a full day of play and fun and fairy magic. All right, Jenna, so you've brought me deep into the forest of Atkins Arboretum, and we're standing in a labyrinth. Yes. This is so cool. So tell me a little bit about this area because I love it. So I don't care what you tell me because I love it already, but go ahead. <laughs> this is a magical place, and it's a, a wood labyrinth that was created by our art curators, Mary and Howard McCoy. They created it for a, a previous fairy fest, and it's along the trail that you'll find houses created for our Great Fairy House Challenge. Mm -hmm. 
And this is a challenge that we invite everyone to, to sign up for and create their dream fairy house and bring it to us before the end of September so that they can all be displayed all along this trail uh, throughout the month of October. All right, so we're almost at the end of the tour, but I don't think I want to leave. So do you guys do like an Airbnb? I can just like, you know, maybe come here every other weekend. <laughs> I'm thinking that's a good idea, maybe. Well, you can't stay overnight, but you can come back for our beer garden. On Saturday, October 23rd, we've got the Dirty Grass Players performing in our pavilion. We've got beer offered by Bull and Goat Brewery mm -hmm. and Ten Eyck Brewing Company. Mm -hmm. We'll ha also have a couple food trucks. Uh, so bring your chair again, chair and blanket, and um, picnic lunch if you'd like to, and come enjoy the music. It's going to be a lot of fun. And that, like the end of this tour that you're giving me, is the end of your season for the year, correct? It is the end of our event season, yes. yes. But that doesn't mean anything's closed, though. It's just your event season, right? But people still can come here between dawn and dusk, right? Oh, my goodness. I hope they do, because um, beyond our events and our programs, just like I said in the beginning, the wonders of nature are just fabulous, and it's good for your soul and good for your health and a uh, great place to be outside. I love it, and you'll <laughs> love it, too.